Zone at 91.3 presents The B-Side. Dan Gunn, man. Hey, Dylan. How's it going? Jason. Hi, Dan. How you doing, boys? Excellent. Yeah, good, man. Good. Well, yesterday morning I was listening in uh, as you were talking a little bit about Christmas. Oh, yeah. And, we were uh, really selling the Christmas yeah, dream, weren't really, we? Yeah. And I'm a bit of a, a, a Christmas, you know, I like it. I like it. But I don't... I, I'm with you on the Charlie Brown Grinchy components of like commercialism's ruining it. Mm. I get that entirely, mm-hmm. but I really like bright lights, you know, a lot. <laughs> yeah, okay. I really like colorful. And my house gets full of lights, and my yard gets full of lights. And actually, I, I, I was walking. I live uh, out in the Brentwood Bay area, and people were into it early, like, Dece- like November 30th, like the, during the Grey Cup. I went for a walk. I didn't know the Grey Cup was on, but that's how other people can reference it. I went for a walk, and uh, like five houses in a row already had their Christmas lights up. And I thought about like writing everybody a letter saying, how about we uh, just keep these up year round? Right. Like, how about they just be awesome all the time? Because Christmas lights are great. But I thought, you know, what we could talk about is, uh, is you know, some of the origins of Christmas. Because I think a lot of people don't know uh, where some of this stuff oh. came from. Maybe that'll help me pull uh, my, my head out of my ass when it comes to uh, how I feel about Christmas. So it's normal to feel a bit funky right now. And that has to do a lot with the fact that the sun leaves us, you know, and, uh, and it gets dark early and it gets cold. And so, you know, ages and ages ago, before Christ, the pagans would celebrate uh, 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 Saturn or Saturnia. They think I think they called the holiday, which was agriculture. They were uh, and they were recognizing the winter solstice that it was so dark that. The, but they knew the celebration was we've made it. We've gotten as far as dark as it's going to get, and things are about to get better. And so they'd have this celebration. They would bring in bows of, of holly and, and trees um, as ways of recognizing life and bringing them in and protecting it. And they would burn logs as a way to um, encourage good spirits for the coming year. Um, and now so that, we do that on Shaw TV. Yeah, and now we do it on, on TV <laughs> and we just, we just show it all around. But So that was what they were doing. And it was a party. It was a rager. Like, they, was, they got out of hand. It was Mardi Gras, right? Like, people really lit Pagan it up. Pagan Mardi Gras, yeah. I love it. And so now, you know, uh, everybody everybody is allowed to believe what they believe. Along comes a religion, uh, Christianity, and Christianity wants to displace most of these pagan traditions. And so Easter is another one where they start picking the dates that align with pagan holidays and start having their own feasts. So the, t- the Nativity Feast is put on December 25th, around December 21st being the, uh, the winter solstice as a way to start, you know, encouraging people to move to this new belief system. And so they create that. In fact, maybe people don't know this. The Bible doesn't say when Jesus was born. There's no December 25th in the Bible. It had more to do with the, and, and, and actually scientists today that have studied it think it was probably April based on where the star had to be in the sky to follow that story. Oh, yeah, but, interesting. But, but what, what changed there was... Um, we started using gifts, right? The the three wise men bringing gold, frankincense, and myrrh to, to Jesus at his birth. So that's why we give out gifts. It was, it was in recognition of that. And at the time, people were already bringing trees in, and that had spread, right? This is like We didn't even start um, with uh, Christian Christmas until the third century. But trees were already getting pulled in um, from the pagans, and that had spread into northern Europe, and including Germany. And so one of the things they changed was they started putting apples on the trees, which is what became Christmas ornaments. And they put them on to represent the Garden of Eden, mm. right? So that was a, a religious context. So they were, they, were, they were starting to adapt all of these things. And really things don't take off like we think of it until like the 1800s. So in around 1840, Prince Albert from Germany, Northern Europe, he marries Queen Victoria. So there's a picture of them around the winter time in the in the castle with a 40 foot decorated Christmas tree. I, you know it's funny I just read about this. Yeah, and, and it went uh, and so that gets all the way to America. People go nuts for it, right? Look at the royals; they got this fancy tree. So people start putting trees in their house, and it spreads around the same time. You start getting Christmas Carol is written, a Christmas Carol, Ebenezer Scrooge. So the the Charles Dickens apparently this is also a, a notable turning point. Absolutely. to how we believe in Christmas, or moreover. What Chris? What should be important around Christmas? Absolutely, is true. based on that book. That's right. So that and that's the morality component, right? The giving, the 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 humanity, and then at the same, not at the exact same time, but close within twenty years, we have uh, "Twas the Night Before Christmas," which is where um, Sinterklaas, which was originally uh, a Dutch. Um, based yeah. based on Saint Nick. Is that that evil son of a bitch Krampus? No, yeah, no. He, that's a different. That's a more oh, modern interpretation. It's, it's Krampus, not right. Krampus. yeah, whatever. <laughs> he's not. He's not a <laughs> breakfast pastry. So, <laughs> so Saint Nick becomes Santa Claus. And then that starts to spread. Twas the night before Christmas sort of defines a little bit more about what Santa is. 
His costume was always different colors. He was a flamboyant gentleman. He had a little Liberace prince in him, you know, like he was like <laughs> he rocked it up. He wore I love some it. he wore some cool stuff. Yeah. And then Coca-Cola, like in the 30s, 1930s, ran, with ran an ad with them all red and white. And I think he looked, you know, just like a, somebody who had a hit 30 years ago, like a rock band where you just gotta keep playing it at every show. Mm-hmm. Santa kind of cater said, okay, red and white. That's whatever that's what the people want. So he started wearing that. Wow. And uh and that's uh that's some of the origins of Christmas. But it's really about, you know, recognizing the darkness coming together celebrating and and generosity and mm. it's about getting ready we're on our way like that's what i love is i keep say, i've been saying like it's only 14 more days until the days get longer right and so why not have a big raging pagan party at the same time god i love it okay dan wow. gunn thank you thanks dan you're welcome guys merry christmas merry christmas <laughs>